Hello everyone, it's PCL Pe here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix crashing and black screen issues for the game NFS Hot Pursuit Remastered. A lot of users have been complaining about this problem, so I'll cover each and every workaround that has helped different users across the globe. So what you have to do is just watch this video till the end and perform each and every step very carefully and I'm sure your problem will be fixed. But if anyhow this problem still persists, then you can write in the comment section and I'll try my best to help you out. And also if you're on my channel for the first time, I want you all to know that I post regular gaming content, so make sure to subscribe to my channel right now for regular content related to this game and many other games. And now let's get started without any further ado. So this step is one of the most important step because it works for most of the users and for most of the games. So what we'll be doing in this step is we'll be downloading a PC cleaner tool or a system optimizer or we can say a tune up tool. These tools helps a lot while gaming because there are various files, there are various registry files which you have to clean before playing a particular game. So we need a tool which has registry cleaner or a tool that helps in scanning errors in your PC and fixing them. So I've already made a video on one such software but I'm not telling you to download only this software so this is not a promotional content you can download any optimizer from Google they are various available but I've already made a guide on one such software on how to use it how to download it I mean how to use all its features I've made a complete guide on it so I'll provide you the link of this video for your convenience if you want to see how to use one such software and once you have used it I'm pretty sure your problem will be fixed but if your problem is still not fixed then proceed to the next step. I found this step after searching on many forums related to this topic and it is a really important step because it is working for most of the users. So what you have to do is you just have to go to your explorer and here go to this PC, right click on it and go to its properties. In properties you have to go to advanced system settings and here you have to go to performance and in performance you again have to go to settings and in settings make sure you are in advanced settings. In advanced settings you have to go to programs, select programs here and click on change. And now comes the most important part, here deselect automatically manage paging files, size for all drives and now you have to select the drive in which your game is installed. So for example I only have C drive so I will select this but if you have your game installed in D drive then select the D drive. Now you have to select custom size here and now the question is what you have to enter here. So in initial size you have to enter the recommended size here as you can see recommended here. Recommended for me is 1896MB so initial size should be equal to the recommended size that is equal to 1896. Now the maximum size should be equal to now let's take a calculator here and if you have 8 gigs of RAM my PC has 8 gigs of RAM so just multiply 8 by 1024 and the answer is 8192 so you just have to enter your RAM in MB so 8192 should be for 8 GB of RAM but if you have 16 gigs of RAM just enter 16 into 1024 and you should enter 16384 in the maximum size now for 32 gigs of RAM you should enter 32 into 1024 that is 32768 and lastly let's cover for 12 gigs of RAM 2 that is 12 into 1024 and it is equal to 12288 so you have to enter it in the maximum size now you have to just click on ok apply these settings and it will ask you to restart your PC to apply these settings so just restart your PC and your problem will be most probably fixed but if it's still not fixed then proceed to the next step you should try running your game with the help of WT Fast. The main purpose of this software is to fix online lag and hyping issues but it is the most helpful software to fix server issues too. But using it is a bit complicated so I've already made a guide on how to run any game using this software. I'll provide the link of that video in the description of this one so you can easily watch it. So just run your game using WT Fast and your problem will most probably be fixed but if you're still facing this issue then proceed to the next step. I consider this step to be a mandatory step before performing any further steps. In this we'll be clean booting a PC. So what clean booting does is it refreshes all the components of your PC and helps in resolving any software conflicts too. So if your game was not installed properly on your PC then clean booting might help in that case. So it is a really important step and if you don't know how to clean boot your PC then I've already made a really quick guide on how to do so. I've provided the link of that video in the description of this one. So just clean boot your PC and then proceed to the second step. I consider this step to be a mandatory one so yeah just perform this step first and then proceed to any further steps. So I believe that is it for this video. I hope it worked for you. If it worked for you then please leave a like. If you have any question write in the comment section and also don't forget to subscribe for regular gaming content related to this game and many other games. Thank you and have a nice day.